Alright, okay, today I'm going to show you something really, really cool. It's pretty much useless, but it's really cool. The only useful purpose of it is to hide useless icons on your springboard. Icons like... Okay, let me tell you what I'm going to do first. Um, put folders inside a folder without jailbreak. So, I'm not jailbroken, I'm on iOS 5, and this is like a glitch in iOS 5. Now, if... You think this is like, oh my god, that is so cool, that's like, I don't know, infinity folder without jailbreak, no, okay, no, if you try to launch a subfolder, it's gonna crash and respring, there's a catch. So, if you're wondering why anyone would do that, like I said, it's just to hide your useless icons like stocks app, newsstand, I actually have newsstand instead of lifestyle, and like, iTunes videos like hide the useless icons. Now I'm going to show you some um, consequences I guess before I actually show you how to do it so you understand what you're getting into. Obviously you can like rearrange it so you can pull out that folder and use the apps inside like launch it from the springboard. Obviously if it's an app like stocks if you put Look closely, that's a stock app inside the subfolder. I can still launch it from my multitasking bar. So, if I can manage to launch it without actually tapping the subfolder, I can still launch the app itself. However, if it's newsstand, which I actually have newsstand inside Lifestyle, I'll show you later. But, like, if it's newsstand and you try to launch newsstand that's inside a folder, it's not going to work. So you're gonna be like, well, nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing will happen when you press double click home button and try to multitask, cause uh, it's like a glitch. Now you can't multitask. Now the way to solve that is to crash your iPod, iPhone, or iPad, respring it, and then you'll be able to launch your multitasking bar again. So now that you know all the consequences and all that, I'm gonna show you how you do it. It's actually really easy and really fast. Okay, so I'll just pull everything out. It's gonna take a while. So there you go. I actually have new stand inside a folder. Pretty cool. Okay, so you create a folder like you normally would, except after that, you have to quickly drag your folder or new stand into a folder you just created. So kind of like this. Quickly drag that. Oh, damn. Okay, that was too slow. Um, let me try that again. So, create, drag. There we go. Now I have new stand inside a folder. Let's create another folder and put that folder into it. There you go. So now you have new stand inside a folder inside a folder. So new stand inside a subfolder inside a folder. That's pretty cool. And yeah, that's how you do it. So yeah, now you know how to put a folder inside a folder and official firmware. And you know the consequences, you know the catch that if you try to launch it, a subfolder, it crashes.